Hello, RiderFlex Nation. Steve Urban here with some more great career advice and job interviewing tips for you. And today, we're going to try and answer a question that came in to us from the app Anchor FM. By the way, if you haven't tried that app, Anchor FM, it's great. You can listen to all kinds of podcasts. And what's really cool about it is people can call in to the host and ask questions. And that allows us to grab those questions and then play them back on the air and, and answer them so that, you know, everybody can learn from it. So we had a question come in from Madison. She wants to know, should I give an excuse for being late to an interview or should I just apologize? Well, first of all, let me just emphasize, never be late. Okay, that's priority number one. No matter what, never be late. Not a minute late, two minutes late, three minutes late, just never be late always be a couple of minutes early, actually. But beyond that, if, if you happen to be a couple of minutes late, I think Madison has a great question here. I'm going to play the question for you, and then we'll do our best to answer it so that everybody can learn from it. Hi, Steve. This is Madison. In a previous podcast, you had touched upon apologizing if you're late to an interview. I was hoping you could share whether or not you would recommend including a reason for being late, or if that would actually hurt you in seeming to give excuses. Thank you for your help. Okay, so Madison wants to know, should she give an excuse as to why she was late? Well, you know, I'm sure everybody answers differently on this. You know, you call 10 recruiters, they'll probably give you 10 different answers. But for our podcast, here's the advice I would, I would give you. I wouldn't supply an excuse, okay? I probably would say something like the following. Mr. Brown, I am very sorry that I'm a couple of minutes late dialing in. It's totally inexcusable. I ask for, for your forgiveness for that and, and, and hope that we can have a very positive meeting here because I've been looking forward to this conversation because I really want this job and I think I'm a great fit for it. Or something like that, some sort of sincere apology followed up by how passionate you are about the job and that you've been looking forward to the interview. That's it. I wouldn't supply the excuse because whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You shouldn't have been late. Okay. It just really doesn't matter. So no, I wouldn't give the excuse. And folks, it re I just can't emphasize enough though uh, for this podcast. And I've touched on this subject before. Don't be late ever. Okay. Ever. Always be ready. Whether it's a phone screen, video interview, in-person interview, just never be late. There's a million reasons why. I'm going to give you just one example for this podcast. If, if you're lined up for a phone screen interview, let's, let's just use a phone screen interview. If I have five phone screen interviews on a Friday for a specific job and all five of those candidates are pretty closely matched in experience and skill set, if you were two minutes late and the other four weren't, you are automatically disqualified. Trust me, that's how it works, okay? So just, just don't be late, ever, period, okay? I can't emphasize it enough. Always dial in on time. But anyway, I hope we answered Madison's question. As always, folks, you can visit riderflex.com and learn more about us and also upload your resume to our database there. Our podcast can be heard just about anywhere, including that app, Anchor FM, that I mentioned, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud. And folks, you can dial into our corporate office or send us an email. Ask, a, ask us a question, and we'll do our best to answer that on the air so that everybody can learn from it. Thanks a lot, folks. Have a great day, and thanks for listening.